you guys, Sean T. Phillips here with our brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Sean video today. Today you're going to go out to see this came out, JC see it's on sale. Today though, new release wise, some of the big things that are coming out today is the Matrix Resurrections. Uh, that one's coming out today. And with that one, I know there's a number of different retail exclusives. I know for sure that um, I saw that Target has an exclusive. I saw a picture of the Target one. I don't know for sure if Walmart has anything exclusive, and I'm pretty sure that um, Best Buy is going to have a steelbook. But like I said, I'm not 100% certain on that, but I'm pretty sure that it will be. Uh, also today though, uh, coming to America. The sequel comes out today, the sequel to Coming Up to America. Uh, that one releases today. There's also a couple other things out today as well, but those are the two main big things that are coming out. Uh, also, though, in a little bit, I'm going to have a really cool uh, brand new perk that's available uh, exclusively to you guys on this video for the new film which I'm directing, uh, Mistletoe Massacre. So I'm going to be talking about that a little bit as we're walking into Target. But also, too, there's going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blurry, and 4K reviews at the end of this video. And as always, too, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the, uh, the titles that I reviewed, if you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But Anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And I also want to say, guys, thanks again for all the support in the new uh, upcoming horror slasher comedy film. It's going to be co-directing with Lauren Francesca called Mistletoe Massacre. Thanks again, guys, for all the support in the campaign for the project. And that's the one thing I want to let you guys know about. There's an exclusive perk going on. And I did this uh, over the weekend. And I only did a couple of them. And, I'm, and a lot of people like, missed out on it and were messaging me going, are you going, to, are you going to still have this perk on the project? And it's going to be called the Cool Duder Thanks Credit. And it's basically one that relates all to my YouTube channel and a special thanks credit, which will be in the end credits for Mistletoe Massacre. And the thing is with the Cool Duder Thanks credit, basically though, it would be your name in the end credits and it would be a special section that says Cool Duder Thanks. It's only going to be $13 on this campaign. It's the lowest price perk that we're going to have on the project and is a, in a huge way you guys can help. And basically, like I said, in the end credits is going to be a section that says Cool Duders Special Thanks. And then it will have your name or it could be your YouTube channel, kind of depending on what you guys decided you want it to be either your name or your channel on there. And be a, there's going to be two different sec special thanks. There's going to be the regular special thanks and then the Cool Duder special thanks. Like I said, guys, uh, that one is only available uh, on this um, from this video. You can't get that link on anywhere else in the campaign itself. It's only from a secret exclusive link. So I'll have that link underneath of this video if you guys are interested in getting the Cool Duder uh, special thanks uh, credit on the project. But there's also different um, other credits you guys can get on the project, uh, you know, uh, perks and stuff like that. There's uh, acting credits on the project. And if you guys are interested in coming out in person to act, in the film. It's going to be shooting April 21st to the 27th in the Los Angeles area. It's, it's incredibly busy out today. It's like everywhere is people just keep piling in everywhere I'm going. But there's um, also producer uh, perks on the film. And there's also uh, some self-film roles you guys can do from home, which you guys can be a vlogger or a newscaster in the film. And basically those are seen, uh, stuff where you guys would send the footage in and be added into the project. So those are some of the ones that you guys can do too if you guys couldn't come out and in person to act in the project. But anyway though, like I said guys, I really appreciate the support so much on this project. Me and Lauren cannot wait to bring this movie to life. This is gonna be a really fun movie. So thanks again guys for the support. But we'll take a look here in the front though and see if they change everything out. I do see, I see the image here for the Matrix. So it looks like they actually, no, it's a tease, it's a tease. <laughs> the Matrix, or you know, Resurrections, is the, the image is here for the, the to display it. But as they say, alas, it's all empty. <laughs> Didn't put any of them out. But here's, I, I believe this is the, ex is that the exclusive one? I, I don't know if that's the exclusive. Maybe the exclusive might only be Blu-ray. I'm not sure. But yeah, they don't have any of these here. We'll see in the actual section though, if they have it. They did put some Easter stuff here. I think like Hop and Peter Rabbit, I think for like Easter time, a couple different things here. So they did change this out. But yeah, we'll see though if in the actual um, section over there they change it out. I don't know though. We'll see. We'll head over there and see. Uh, fingers crossed, you know, that they change it out. But we shall see. Yeah, there was absolutely nothing in there today. It was sort of like a gag. The whole, the entire section, you know, where we all the new releases was dead bare empty. Like nothing. No hangovers from like last week. Nothing whatsoever. It was kind of like, you know, that expression zero F words given. It was sort of like zero F words given in there. But it's kind of like... Nowadays, when it comes to physical media, most stores are zero F words given. It's, it's a shame. It's really a shame, you know, that, that I almost feel like the death of physical media in stores is, it by, is by the hands of the employees. You know what I mean? Because they don't put it out. And that's the biggest problem is like, if the stuff doesn't go out, it just gets sent back, it doesn't sell. So that's the biggest problem. Or if a place like Walmart doesn't put it out and then it doesn't sell, you go straight to the Dollar Tree. And that's the other problem, you know what I mean? So then the filmmakers don't make any money on the movie too, because the movie doesn't get out and then it just gets shipped back and then it gets sold to Dollar Tree. 
for like 10 cents a DVD or something, you know what I mean? So it's not a good system if that happens, you know what I mean? And genuinely, sometimes movies just don't sell in Walmart or in stores, but I sure it doesn't help when a lot of the times these stores nowadays are just not, literally never putting them out or they never make it out of the back and stuff like that. It's very strange. <laughs> but anyway, though, we're going to head over to uh, Walmart. Hopefully this location has this stuff out. I might go to another Target. I don't know. It's a little later, so I'm not sure. Depending on traffic, I might try to go to another one. Maybe on the way back, I'll stop in one really quickly. Uh, we'll see, though, but definitely going to go to this Walmart and then probably the other one, too, because I didn't go to that one last Tuesday. Uh, and that one's usually the slightly better one than this one. Into Walmart we go. Now we have not peaked or anything like that, so I have no idea if they have this stuff out yet. You can usually kind of see like a peak, like a tease right from the side here if stuff's out. And I actually am seeing some stuff today that looks like there's some new things. So it looks like they actually might have put the stuff out today, which is like, and they did, they put this stuff out last Tuesday as well, which is really good. They were starting to see things coming out. So let's see. Oh yeah, so they do have an exclusive here for Matrix, but it looks like it's a, is it a DVD only exclusive? It's actually kind of a cool cover on this one. I think some people are probably just going to buy this just... Oh, it's a four-movie collection, four-movie Deja Vu collection. I guess there's no Blu-ray of it, but... So does it have... Is the fourth movie that animated one? No, no, the fourth No, the fourth one is the newest one. But yeah, that's definitely a very cool uh, cover on that one. I forgot that it was four movies in total. So I don't know why I thought there was only three. I don't know what the word I'm thinking, but that's definitely a cool one. The one uh, Walmart guy is over there in the spot, so I'll have to go over there in a second. But I always look here, too, how like they have these things in these closets there. Uh, they closed up, but you could always kind of grab them from behind. But let's see. When he's gone, though, I'll look at the other ones and everything. But he's right over there now. Like It kind of came at the exact time that I got here and everything. So we'll peek over here at, at Beetlejuice for a second. Hey, 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 Winona. Hey, Winona, how you doing, Winona? So we'll just look at this stuff, I guess. Is he gone now? I'm just trying to see. I think one guy's, you can kind of see him in there. Let's see. I'm trying to peek one more time. Let's let's peek. I think he left. Yeah, we can we can get around now. So let's see. So they also have all these other different editions here. So this is a, a, the four movie set here like this. Well, I guess this is a cool slip cover on this one. Is it? Yeah, underneath. I like that one. And then the, the DVD 1996, Blu-ray 2496, the 4K uh, 2996. And then they have Yellowstone season four. That released today as well. And also Silent Night. That was one of the ones that came out today. Uh, Redeeming Love. I don't know anything about this movie. If you guys have seen this one though, let me know how this one was. I think this one was today too, this Michael B. Jordan movie. Here this one called A Journal for Jordan, and that one's 1996, uh, and then 1796 for the DVD. And then other than that though, let's see, is there anything else down here that I'm noticing? I don't see anything else here, but I do see a couple things here new today too. This one here called Red Ghost, uh, Nazi Hunter, uh, this one came out today. I don't know anything about this one. And then this one here, which I know um, uh, Jose Prentice was one of the writers on uh, this one here uh, called uh, The Legend of La Llorona. This one here, I'm definitely interested in seeing this one. This one has Danny Trejo in the film. Uh, I know there's a Blu-ray as well for this one. I should be getting a copy to review soon for this. This is uh, 19, uh, sorry, 12.96 for the DVD. And this one here called A, a Writer's Odyssey. Uh, this one released today as well. Other than that, I'm trying to see if there's anything else new mixed in here. I think this is the only, oh yeah, it's, I think Stargirl might have been today, but I'm pretty sure this one came out today, this Camp, Camp Coral one. This is like the SpongeBob one that was like a Paramount Plus type thing. I haven't seen any of these episodes whatsoever, so I have no idea how these are or anything. I watched, you know, the original series of the show, and, you know, even to, to this day, I see episodes here and there. Um, but other than that, though, that seems to be all the main things. I don't see anything else as far as I can tell. Let me just peek to over here to make sure there's nothing else mixed in in this spot. But as far as I can tell, I don't see anything else you know, mixed in there or anything. I did notice over here, though. What did I see? I saw some, uh, these some TV sets that I don't remember seeing. Like, I don't know if I remember seeing this Turtles one here that they've always had. Maybe, I don't know. I don't. I feel like there's a couple of these I don't totally remember seeing them having. Like this Power Rangers one here. This particular edition of it looks a little different than some of the ones I remember seeing. So there might be a couple, like, random, like, TV series ones mixed in over here, though. Into the second Walmart we go. And over this weekend, though, I was in a Walmart, and it's crazy. Like, I witnessed, like, um, 
I guess like the theft prevention people, like yelling at these, there was like two guys and they're trying to steal stuff from the stores and they were running throughout the place and they were running after them and they were trying to go out their emergency exits and everything. It was insane. It was like, I, I never really witnessed anything like that intense where it was two people going all these different directions. I saw one woman once who was trying to steal these shoes. I always remember that. And she's like, these are my shoes. And I was at a Target. And this other time I remember this one woman was like fighting and the, the, the guy who was trying to get the money and he like pulled her shirt and it was like, an awkward thing that happened. I always remember that because I was probably like 11 years old, but it's something I always remember happening. And the one thing I've noticed this year, for some reason when it comes to like Easter and candies, like out of all the candies, it's kind of the same stuff you always see. There's like some new stuff mixed in, but this year, for some reason, has been the year of the jelly beans. Like I've noticed this. They don't have them here, but I saw there's like a Dunkin' Donuts ones. There's all these like really random type of jelly beans they're doing with things now, like Starburst and then Jolly Ranchers. And then it's like, it's just really weird. There's, just, there's been a lot of other ones of these that I've seen uh, that, that's not ones but I know that there's a Dunkin Donuts and stuff but it's just weird that everybody's kind of trying to do I guess they don't know what to do with candy wise it's different so they're like we'll turn everything into like a jelly a jelly bean form of things and stuff like that but we're head over to the actual section though the movies though fingers crossed though they have out the um, new stuff over there we will see though at least the other one had this stuff but I think there might be a couple other things that this one might have because that one doesn't always have as much of you know the new releases this one usually has a little bit more but we'll see but we're head back though and see i don't see any standee for matrix i feel like that would be one that they would have and maybe some of the locations but maybe they just didn't put that one out this one too added like random movies down that way as well but let's see if there's anything else mixed in here differently i don't see anything different like when it comes to matrix resolution right re, you know res, 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 matrix resurrections uh exclusives except for the dvd one but it doesn't seem like they have any for the actual movie itself one uh other than that though mixed in here i'm just seeing if there's anything else different that wasn't in the other one let's see these were all the same usually the new stuff now has been right here so as opposed to the other one i think i think it's all the same stuff because there's a couple things missing but for the most part they have everything but over here though this is what i thought there is some other things so um there's a Bruce Willis one that came out today called American Siege. Uh, this one came out today. I feel like though with Bruce Willis, it's like every week there's another Bruce Willis movie coming out, which is kind of like a funny thing to think about. It's like there's just so many Bruce Willis movies these days. And then um, The Walking Dead World's, uh, World Beyond, the final season, uh, and that's um, 1696 for that one. I don't know if there's a Blu-ray of that. Then there's this one here called U.S. Uh, Ace Conspiracies. And I guess this is uh, some kind of... Um, I don't know what that is, like a found footage type thing, maybe. And then um, this is Yasha Haim. Um, this one released today. This is the um, is it this first season? It's a half. I'm not uh, season one, part one. Uh, and then they also released uh, Highway to Heaven. Uh, this was like the movie of this based based on the TV series from back in the day. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else mixed in here. I think all of these ones I've seen before. I don't think there's anything different here. Let's check in this spot because sometimes there's a couple more things in this area. I don't know what this thing is. What is where did what is this all air, land, and sea? I do not know that. I've never seen that thing before. Um, but other than that, though, let's see. I don't. Is this one? Is this today? This one, Invi uh, Invincible. This movie. This might have been today. I don't know anything about this one. But no, this one might have come out today. Um, and then also this one, National Champions. This was one of the other things that released today, and that's 1496. Uh, and then Supergirl, uh, the complete uh, sixth and final season. That one's 1996 for that one. And then um, Adventure Time, Distant Lands. That was today as well, and that's 996. And this one here, I'm not, I don't know how to say this one correctly. Uh, the very final, this one came out today uh, as well for 1996. Let's see, was these Myrtle Beneath the Surface, Demonic? Oh, these might have been... Um, was demonic that might have been and to meet the surface i think these might have been some other ones that might have been today as well i think i'm not sure though but i'm just trying to make sure there's nothing else mixed in here or anything like that but as far as i can tell that seems to be all the main different things but like i said this one definitely did have a handful of different things that they didn't have you know at the um the other location and everything but other than that though it seems to be all the main different things like i said there is this spot down here now too that they have it's kind of like they randomly put all the way down here of movies it's kind of just like a mixture of just like kind of just it's kind of sporadic like a lot of disney and and marvel ones over here and then some of the TV series and stuff. But it's sort of funny how it made its way all that much further down than things. It's normally not that far down from things. 
But uh, other than that, though, that seems to be all the main things. There are some more Easter ones here. I'm pretty sure I showed all these ones last Tuesday, but that seems to be all the main things here today, though. Into Best Buy we go. And I just want to say, guys, thanks again, though, for the continued support on the, you know, the films that I've been directing. I, I appreciate it beyond words. And this new one, the mistletoe one that I'm doing with Lauren, I am so excited. I think this is going to be a really fun, because I, like, I really love these comedy horror films. And I always try and have a lot of comedy in the movies that I'm doing. And, you know, um, and the plan, too, is for this one to get a really good release. And I can't wait to let you guys know about some of the release news for Scream Bloody Murder and uh, Shark House and Now Night of the Zomgles. There's just, like, some amazing news with those. So I cannot wait to let you guys know but yeah like i was saying guys uh the one the perk one i was mentioning earlier too is the cool dude or thanks credit and i was trying to explain it and i hopefully i explained it okay when we we're outside of target because but there was people everywhere kind of coming in and out and everything but basically though as i was saying in the end credits and the link for this uh, perk will be right under this video and that's the only place you can get this particular perk and it'll be in the credits and it'll say cool dude thanks and like i said it could be your youtube channel your name any of that kind of stuff that you want down there in the thanks section on there but now we're going to head in to Best Buy and fingers crossed hopefully they have everything out and have because last Tuesday I think they didn't have a couple of the things some of the new releases so we'll see but we're going to head back and look and see so let's see what they have here I see Yellowstone season four uh, this is a show I only ever saw like a little bit of this one I didn't I couldn't really get into this one uh, that much it's weird when it comes to me with like certain shows it's like it's like it's, it, I don't know how it had explained it but like with me it's like certain things I just can't really get into too much or just like not my kind of thing very much let's see so I see here uh, for the Matrix. So this is what the exclusive was going to look like here. So that's a very cool steel book here for that one. But if, but it's not none of them left. I had a feeling that it was going to be one that went really fast. So it's going to be thirty four ninety uh, thirty four ninety nine for the steel book, and then I guess. Is this a different one? It's a, or they, maybe they had two spots for the steel books. I guess I guess they had a lot of them. So I guess they really went quick if they had that many of them to fill those. Oh wait a minute! Is, no, is this it? Oh no, this is um, a collection thing here. This is like um, the collection set here. I wish this had the cover that Walmart had. Like the Walmart cover was so cool with the one with all of them together for the DVD. But yeah, none of the steel books here. Let's see if anything else is in here. They do have that American Siege, the Bruce Willis movie here. Like I said, I feel like if a month goes by and a Bruce Willis movie doesn't come out, it's like. A, it's a bad month because like if it's funny when you look on um like on um cable on demand and you look at all those new release things literally every single friday for the past like two two or three months i think there's been a new new bruce willis movie up on there it's like insane uh let's see other than that though attack the titan the final season part one i don't know if that was today or not uh supergirl though that was today through 24.99 this is the, the final season of the show and then there's a steel book here for downton abbey which i think might be new that i don't at least i don't really remember seeing this particular one the motion picture collection limited edition steel book uh 4k for 24.99 they also have Sonic Boom here, the complete series for $39.99. That one's from uh, Mill Creek. Uh, they have this this one here, the anime that came out today. Um, other than that, though, I'm just seeing if there's anything else mixed in here. I don't see anything else randomly in here as far as I can tell. No, that seems to be all the main uh, different things here today, though. It's, but it's weird, though. I thought Coming to America was out today. Like, did I imagine that? Because I thought I saw it on Blu-ray.com, but I haven't seen anywhere have Coming to America anywhere. You know, the sequel. So it's really weird. Like, maybe the date got changed or I, like, totally was wrong about it. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I was, I missed, maybe it was next Tuesday. I'm going to have to check on my phone just to make sure. But yeah, I checked on my phone and I, and, you know, Coming to America was coming out today. So it was weird because it wasn't anywhere. I'm, maybe Target might have had it. Like, I, I'm not going to go to another one. Uh, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, though, if maybe Target carried it. But it didn't look like Walmart because we went to both of them. And I feel like that's a movie that would have been in the front. And if it wasn't in the one location, I feel like it would definitely have been in the other one. And I don't know if it's like maybe as strange as it is because it doesn't include a digital copy. They're not like carrying it because like, and it's maybe just going to be more sold online. I, I, I kind of doubt that though. But let me know though if you guys went out and you saw it anywhere, uh, you know, that... Um, you know, coming to America on Blu-ray or DVD anywhere or not. And also, too, let me know anything new that you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K today. Uh, you know, and also, too, let me know anything new that you guys have watched on streaming, any new TV shows or movies or anything like that as well. And also, too, like I said, let me know what you guys thought of the stuff that I reviewed at the end of this video. Also, too, uh, contact me on Facebook if you guys have any questions about the, the movie that I'm directing with Lauren, The Mistletoe Massacre. And guys, like I said, thanks again for all the support. And any of you guys, too, who get um, the uh, Cool Duder Special Thanks credit, too, feel free, too, to underneath of this video, 
video, like leave a comment too and let me you know let me know that you got it on there too. And if you had anything specific that you wanted me to say too, uh, let me know and then I'll like reach out to you on email and make sure we have like the specific credit you wanted in there and all that kind of stuff as well. But anyway though guys, like I said, thanks again for all the continued support on the projects. I am so excited about these ones and cannot wait to share the news for the releases and all these things as, as they start to come out and everything. But now stay tuned for the brand new DVD, Blu-ray and 4K reviews. Now, before we get to the brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews, we have an unboxing here for the film The Matrix Resurrections here. Uh, Warner Brothers sent over a free thing here to show you guys that relates to the film. I, I do not know what's in here. I know one of the things that's in here is the film, and I did get to watch The Matrix Resurrections already. I really liked it. It's one of those movies, though, it's very hard to explain everything because you kind of need to have seen the other movies, and it's like without spoiling things. It's one of those films, though, where it kind of like turns the other movie on its head and you kind of find out. It's, it's like I said, it's very hard to explain. I really, really liked it a lot. I think it's definitely worth checking out. I thought it was really cool. I like, you know, I also really like the movie that the Wachowskis did. I know both of them didn't direct together on this one, but I really loved Cloud Atlas as well. I thought that was a really, really creative movie. So I really like the movies that they've done. You know, um, like I said, they didn't both direct together on this one. It was just um, Lana directing. So it wasn't the, b both of them together on this one. But still, I was still thought it was cool to see the matrix again and you know keanu reeves back and you know keanu reeves has his new look though in this like he had he, because of john wick he has his john wick look because he can't cut that that hair because he's shooting too many john wick movies so he can't change that look and if he all of a sudden switched to like john wick had like a strange wig i don't i don't i don't think it would work everyone be like did john wick kind, kind of like is he wigging like is he wiggly now or something but i really really like this movie this is definitely one if you guys like i said would, i would recommend you guys check this out but in here though there's a bunch of stuff in here like i said i have no idea what's exactly in here but it all relates to the matrix resurrections here but it has a thing in here it's kind of talking about the movie a card in here kind of saying it's out march 8th and then in here though i gotta be careful with all these little doilies i do not want any of the doilies they have the pills in here makes the pills in here and then the uh hat so a cool dude you know balding hat matrix uh you know hat for me there is a um there's a booklet in here it's like a notepad for the movie so that's really cool and then what is this a step-by-step -step. i'm trying to be careful not to spill these because if this gets in here it'll be everywhere and then there's packing like peanuts in here too what is this like step by beginner step-by-step -step coding guide so it's oh it's like coding stuff so it's all this like stuff i could never figure out in a million years i'm so dyslexic if you tried to help me do this I, I think I'd be in the nut house. Like, I, I, if you try to tell me to figure out what all this was, what any of this means, <laughs> just like math and all that stuff, I am so horrible with that type of stuff. It would be like a gag. Let's see, what is this in here? Morpheus by Tom Davis. So is this glasses, maybe? Let's see, is it Morpheus's glasses? Oh, oh, that, that is cool. It's these weird little glasses. I, I you, know, you guys don't know me, I like weird glasses. See? Oh, now that is cool. That that I like. This I really, really like. These weird little glasses. Now, this is definitely going to be my favorite weird item because I love stuff like this. And this is from Tom Davis on here. Also, th Certificate of Authenticity. So that's really, really cool. This I lo absolutely love in here. I'm definitely putting this in a good spot to keep these. These are really, really cool. Let's see. I think, oh, yeah, there's also, what is this? I don't know what this is going to be. Let's see. This is, it says on the back, Leeds. Let's see what this is. Is it a... You plug it in, so is it a... What is this? So it's... Is this like a... Let me see if I can figure out... Uh, light up logo wireless charging. Oh, so it's a wireless charging thing. I've never actually owned one of those. So I guess you just lay it on top of this or something. That's actually really cool. Like I said, I've never actually had a wireless charging thing. So that's really, really cool. Let's see, is there anything else in here? I think that's all the stuff in here. But thanks so much, Warner Brothers, for sending over this stuff for the movie. I love those glasses, too. Like, you guys know me in glasses. Like, I've always, like, had weird glasses and everything. So that's actually, I'm just trying to make sure I do not spill these things. But now we're going to go on to the new uh, DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. And the first one here is from Shot Factory Screen Factory line. And this is one I will let you guys know is available. A movie here called Nightmare. And this is a movie that was from 
when was this one from originally? Oh, 1964. And it's basically, though, about um, this woman who, when she was a kid, kind of witnessed, you know, her mother killing her father. And it's kind of one of those things that, like, kind of had haunted her her whole life after this had happened. She was, she was having bad dreams. And, you know, as she's gotten older, they have gotten worse. And she's now having all these kind of terrible nightmares and dreaming that she's, like, going to kind of go the way, the way that her mother did and kind of c commit murders and things like that. So it's essentially about her slowly cracking up and these things just kind of get worse and worse and weird sort of things start to happen in the house and, and stuff like that. So she's kind of trying to figure out if it's these are things that she's imagining, like because she's because she, you know, like what happened to her mother, her mother cracking up and going crazy, or if it's like literally could be really something going on. It's a very interesting movie. This one has on here though, um, a brand new 2K scan for an inner positive on here, a brand new commentary track on here with uh, film historians, a sleepless nights reflecting on uh, nightmare movie. It has an actor, uh, Rigby rem remember uh, Jonathan Rib Rigby remembers the film, uh, some more actor interviews, uh, inside Hammer's Nightmare on here, a uh, theatrical trailer, as well as a still gallery on, on this one. The next one here is from um, Lionsgate, and this is from their Vestron video line, and this is one that I'm, I'm so glad is now out on Blu-ray. I absolutely love this movie. If you guys don't know me, I've been a fan of forever, forever, of Corey Haim and Corey Feldman, like the movies that they did together, and like, you know, and Corey Haim passed away, too. I was like so upset, because I was such a fan of both of them. Like, these movies together... When I think of like fun movies, the stuff they did, like the early ones, like this film, uh, License to Drive, some of those are just like really good, positive, fun movies that you want to watch. And sometimes you just need those kind of movies in your life, positive, fun films. And this is a really fun movie here called Dream a Little Dream. They made a sequel to this as well. The sequel was not great. It was not, not, not a great one. They made it many years after this one. It was watchable. The, the original movie was great. It's one of those kind of, um, body swap kind of films with Corey, um, Feldman's character switching bodies with this old man because they were doing this kind of ritual uh, together with um, this old man and his girlfriend and they were basically doing this ritual kind of trying to this meditation type thing and it, and it ended up going wrong and you know Corey um, Feldman's character ends up basically bumping into them when they're doing this and then like the one's old man's soul is transferred into his body and it becomes this whole thing of him trying to figure out you know when, when Corey Haim meets him he's like can't figure out what's going on and like his now Corey you know uh, you know Feldman's in the old man's body the young him his mind and so it's a really fun movie they have to try and figure out what they're going to do but and figure out how to you know change back but a fun fun movie uh and i love these vestron lines i'm so glad that they're continuing on with the releases of these and what's cool too is some of the vestron titles were ones where they kind of just uh release them but they don't they never really said vestron back in the day a uh, dream a little dream though was a movie that was always vestron from the beginning like on the releases of the dvd back in the day the vhs everything uh but this one has on here though a comment uh commentary track on here with film historian jonathan grant it has an interview on here with Corey Feldman, has an interview on here with the executive producer, a theatrical trailer, TV spots, and a still gallery uh, on this one here. And and this is, oh yeah, it also does include a digital copy uh, as well. And the next one I got here is from Lionsgate as well, and this is also from A24, and this is one I was really interested in watching. It's a movie here called Red Rocket, and this is from the guys that were behind, you know, Simon Baker, who was the director of, you know, The Florida Project and Tangerine, and uh, as well as Chris Barg, I believe that's how you say his name, Chris Barg, uh, you know, who I've met at, um, was it one of the conventions I can't remember and then I got uh, Chris to do an interview for a documentary I helped put together on VHS collecting and stuff like that so he's a really really nice guy uh, but you know he was the uh, writer on the film here and basically though uh, you know this is one I was really excited to see because I've always been a fan of you know Simon Rex and this is like it was a huge film for him to get in I, I mean probably out of everything he's ever been and probably one of the most biggest ones that you know when it comes to like uh, you know because A24 you can't get bigger than A20 in my opinion for or like art films and stuff like that I think A24 is like the top top level and everything so I thought this was amazing for him to get in this film and, he, and I thought he did a great job and basically though it's about a guy who's trying to kind of figure out how to get his life figured out because it, it, and he kind of has to go and get a job again but he has no work experience because when he gets to this small town he's kind of trying to start over at the same time but the problem is he was an adult film star for years and that's all he had ever done for like 15 years so he had no other jobs so when he tries to actually get a real job it's a big problem because and, and people look at him sideways and everything. It's just this is a movie about this guy who's trying to get his life figured out and having all sorts of problems as it goes along. But I, you know, I like this a lot. I thought this was really, really well done. It has a commentary track on here with a writer director on here as well as a cinematographer and actor Simon Rex. It has a commentary by film critic Cat Ellinger. Cat Ellinger um, gets onto so many commentaries. It's like insane how many commentaries uh, uh, I've I've seen. Like shout, shout, I think maybe Shout Factory, Arrow Video ones, lots of different stuff. Um, 
and also has the making of one here uh, as well. The next one here is from Warner Brothers. This is one I just want to let you guys know was available, and they sent over a free copy of this one. And it's, this is um, the uh, the show Supergirl here, and this is the sixth and final season here uh, of the show. I really like this show. I haven't watched that many, but I watched a couple ones because Kevin Smith directed a few ones. So I watched the ones that he did, and then I watched like that behind the scenes. I think that might have been the first or second season. And there was like a, I remember there was like a behind the scenes of him on the set. And like, I, I know I, every time Kevin Smith would do like, to, in my opinion, like behind the scenes and stuff, those were always some of the best stuff. But like I guess one of you guys on this one was available and it has on here though, a farewell tribute to Supergirl as well as deleted scenes. And I'll show you guys a look inside here uh, as well, but it has a digital copy of the show and then it has, it, it, oh, the one this came out, but here's um, a look inside too. But there's also like a little episode guide here as well, which says the features and stuff like that on here uh, as well. But like I said, just one of you guys know where you, this one was available if you guys were a fan of the series uh, Supergirl. Another one here from Warner Brothers, they sent her a free copy of to let you guys know that was available. This is... um. They basically have done these specials. It's basically a collection of four, um, you know, uh, Adventure Time specials that they have done. And it's one here called Adventure Time uh, Distant Lands here. And this one has, like I said, four different ones on here. So I can't, if I, they're hard to see here. So it says, let me see if I can read it better off of the, um, no, I can't really read them. They're so small. BMI is his way to, does it say the name? Um, Ups, I can't read that. Obsidian, together again. Uh, Wizard City. You can see it. Like I said, this one I just can't really read what that one says <laughs> very well. But here's a look though inside here. But like I said, if you guys are a fan of Adventure Time, I want to let you guys know that they have done some specials of the show, and these are the continuation specials. And it's like I said, it's four different ones, and it's 186 minutes writing time on this one. The next one here is from uh, Universal, and it's a movie here uh, which has a great cast in here. Um, Little Rel Howery is in this one, uh, J.K. Simmons, and it's a movie here called um, National Champions. And this is a movie, like, I've been kind of out of the loop on some movies, like, so some movies kind of come out that I did not know a thing about at all. So this is one of those ones that I kind of did not hear about much at all before. And I thought this was actually pretty good. It's basically, though, it's kind of about... Um, this college football uh, group, and basically they're having a big championship game that's happening, but the some of the players, two of the players basically go and kind of have a strike because of the payment, because they're talking about how J.K. Simmons' character is getting paid all this money, but then if these college football players, though, you know, don't end up getting drafted to the pros and things like that, they basically, you know, get nothing, and they can get an injury and won't be able to play anymore, and it's kind of like their last chance, and it's kind of like, it's kind it's hard to explain, but it's an interesting movie. It's kind of about because of the treatment and stuff like that. I thought this was actually pretty good. But this one has on here, though, behind the scenes, the music, and more featurettes on this one here. Uh, the next one here is from Paramount. And this is one I want to let you guys know was available. And this is a brand new Steelbook release here for the film that stars Mark, Mark Wahlberg uh, called Shooter. But like, I want to show you guys a closer look inside here at this one. These are in this style that they've done. They've done a couple ones. I'm trying to remember other ones that I saw in this same kind of Steelbook style. Maybe it was... Um, I'm blanking on it, but I know I've seen some other ones that they've done in that kind of style where it's like the character on the front. Here's a look, though, inside here for this one um, as well. But like I said, just want to let you guys know that this one was available. It's the 4K version of it. Now, keep in mind, though, it only includes the 4K um disc itself it does not include the blu-ray now the next ones these are all from moviezing.com i have a link below where you guys can order these ones for the best price now this is one i'm so glad is now on blu-ray like i love this movie i just started going and re-watching the um the series again uh i think that they're on like i one of those streaming things i've been looking but i think it was on ifc or something like that i've been going in while well, i do the bike i've been like going and re-watching some of these but this is uh kids in the hall brain candy this is the kids in the hall the movie which and th if you guys like don't know you know me or like haven't seen videos for a while like this is an example of my humor. Like, th like, this is what I find funny. This kind of strange humor. Like, this, like, I could watch stuff like this all day. Like, most, it's another example of weird humor I like. If you guys watched SNL uh, last week, uh, last Saturday, the, um, the new pr girl that's come on there, uh, there was a skit on there with meatballs. To me, that, if you guys want to look it up, meatballs, that was to me the best SNL skit in a decade. Because I like strange. Strange is good. And to me, strange. That's why when you guys see some of the movies that I've done, 
uh, Bigfoot is the strangest thing that you, you may ever see in your whole life. The um, the Amityville Bigfoot movie. But this is a great movie. I, I can't think I can put into words how much I enjoy watching this movie. It's basically, though, if you guys don't know, uh, The Kids in the Hall, it's played by five different guys, and they play all the characters in the movie. There's a few other characters, though, that the small roles and stuff other people pay, play, but for the most part, all the key characters are them. They play the men, they play the women, they play, like, younger kids. They play everybody. Every kind of age range and everything. And this is kind of all about this pharmaceutical company and they create this new drug kind of like a Prozac kind of thing to make you happy but the drug has these weird sort of side effects and it's just really wacky and everyone gets like in the world gets like kind of addicted to this drug and it kind of zonks them out into this weird sort of like catatonic state it's great like if you guys have never watched it do yourself a favor check it out another thing in this same kind of weird vibe that I like is Strangers with Candy you know all those kind of weird stuff like that is my kind of humor the next one here is from uh, MovieZing.com as well, and it's also from Paramount. And this one, um, I'm glad there's now a Blu-ray of this. And I like this movie. It stars Catherine Langford and Charlie Plummer called Spontaneous. And this is a really good one about, like, something goes on and people start to spontaneously combust. And it's, like, just no real reason for why this is happening. And people are blowing up. And it's about these two that kind of fall in love during this happening. Why people around them are blowing up and just dying for no real reason. It's kind of like trying to figure out exactly what's gonna, what people are going to do, why this is happening. But it's a, a really good movie really fun film the other one from movie zing is another fun um series where it's one of those movies where it's like tons and tons of different characters and everything kind of all com you know connects and uh, in one night and everything and it's a movie here called 200 Cig cigarettes and i've always really liked this movie so i'm glad this one finally got a blu-ray it has like ben affleck in here casey affleck uh, dave chappelle janine garofalo um it has kate hudson courtney love uh, Paul Rudd is in here, Christina Ricci, Martha Plimpton. So a really great cast. This is like, you know, one of those ones where they, like I said, they haven't really done a movie like this in a long time, uh, where it's like all like in one night and everything kind of interconnects and stuff like that. But definitely one you guys should check out. The other one here, I really like this. This is from Full Moon. Uh, William Butler, uh, you know, directed this movie. And, um, I love this one. Justina is in this, is great. Uh, I'm friends with her on, um, Instagram. And Justina is, did such a great job in this movie. But, uh, it, it, and I met, um, Libby Higgins, um, on the movie called, um, um, uh, Ouija's Hollywood Night, and we got to work together. So this is great. I, I would love to get involved in these. I know they're actually shooting, uh, cause basically, um, you know, this baby oopsie is the character from the, um, the demonic toys. And essentially though, this is like the character of baby oopsie, kind of a spin off type movie. And someone sends Libby Higgins character, uh, the, the doll. And she has like a big collection of dolls. She's like a total hoarder of dolls. And she ends up putting this, um, sort of spring that she gets sent inside of the doll and it, the doll comes back to life. So now baby oopsies come back to life and starts doing the killings and stuff. And it's just, William Butler has the same sense of humor that I like with, um, wacky characters and focusing on this kind of crazy going-ons. Uh, and I, I really dig what he did with this. And I know right now... I think they finished shooting more episodes of this because they, they shoot it as an episode, as episodes for their streaming service, but then they cut it down, cut it together into a feature later. So this was like a 76 minute movie. So I'm pretty sure they'll do the same thing with the next episodes and then cut it down and it'd be like Baby Oopsie 2 or something along those lines. But I cannot wait to see the next ones, but definitely recommend this. This is really fun. Uh, shot really well too. Uh, this has on here behind the scenes video zone on here as well as full moon trailers on this one. And the next one I got here is from Epic Pictures, and it's a movie here called The Swerve. This is an interesting movie. This is kind of like about this woman who's kind of having all sorts of problems and like kind of paranoia and things like that and having like sleeping things and all these kind of things that are going on. And, and then, and then she kind of gets this suspicion that, you know, that her boyfriend is cheating on her and all this kind of stuff. And then it's kind of one of these things where it's like she doesn't know if she's kind of like imagining these things because of her sleeping problems, because she's literally having all these problems sleeping. So maybe she's like, you kind of thinking that maybe these things are in her head because of you know such issues with sleeping but it's kind of like one of those things where she, it's like one of those films where little by little the character kind of just starts to get worse and worse and worse as it goes along it's like a slow build up character piece of like everything going in such a bad direction a uh, really really well done movie uh, this one has a filmmaker's commentary track on here as well as a theatrical trailer on here uh you know ashley bell too she did a great job i i, I she used to always comment and like um pictures and stuff that i used to put up Ashley Bell was in um, the uh, Last Exorcism films. Which I like those movies. I thought those were actually really fun uh, movies. Uh, the next one uh, here, and this is one 
from um, uh, Film, Film Lada is the name of the company. This is one I want to let you guys know that is available. It's a documentary on here called VHS Love C Cult Cinema Obsession. And on this one, um, it's a documentary like all about VHS collecting and that type of stuff as well. And uh, I get interviewed in here. Uh, Danny the Cinestalker is interviewed on here. So if you guys are into like collecting physical media, DVDs, Blu-ray, all that kind of stuff, like I said, this is a documentary all on that here. So like I said, I want to let you guys know that this one was available here and it's called VHS Love uh, Cult Cinema cinema obsession uh the next one here is from wild eye and i'll say this is probably my favorite wild eye thing that they've released in a long time i love i like this a lot uh and i can't say that about a lot of things lately this was really good like these these are very talented filmmakers filmmaker on this one this movie here called the final ride and i looked at how much they made this for i think the only weak part of the movie sort of that i thought was like the only thing a little bit was some of the stuff with the lift stuff in the beginning like the way it was filmed it, they, they needed like some shots of like the car from like a a, I don't know, like a drone shot or something to break it up. I mean, if you guys see the movie, you know what I'm talking about. That was the only thing in it that was like the the, the we weaker point of the film. But the stories were so good. It was like, uh, like I said, this one is called The Final Ride. But one of them was about a guy that got a tattoo and the tattoo kind of kept growing. And then like he had all these tattoos that keep showing. One of them was people that moved into a house and they found this like... Um, VHS tape of this really cheesy like fitness guy and then like all of a sudden the guy starts cracking up and like getting like controlled by the fitness guy and then the other one was the um the rideshare character story and what happens to her but this was real like i said i was really impressed with this this was really really well done uh this one has on here though a director's commentary on this one as well as trailers for other wild eye releasings on this one the next one here is one i want you guys know is available from mvd and i remember this one back in the day when this one came out it was an interesting movie um i think i think back in the day anchor bay might have put it out maybe i can't i can't remember for sure but i definitely remember it really well and it's a movie here called brian loves you and it had a great cast it had like george went tiffany shepis daniel roback uh, Tony Todd is in the movie but it has on here a lot of different features it has a brand new two 2020 uh, two commentary track on here with the director a 2008 commentary track on here with the director and cast uh, as well as Joe Blow writer, uh, new interviews on here with Joe Robeck, Robeck on here, uh, Tiffany Shepis interview that's brand new, a brand new interview with George Went. There's long interviews. They're like, George Went has a 44 minute interview, F Tiffany Shepis talks for 50 minutes. Daniel Robeck talks for an hour. Uh, interview on here, the brand new with Bring Stevens. Uh, brand new theatrical trailer on here. So lots of features on this release here. And like I said, this one is from MVD. The next one here, this is from um, 101 Films. And this one here, just keep in mind, this is a Region B release from the UK. So this is Region B locked. So you guys would have to have an all-region player to play this one. But it's a movie here called Sweetie, You Won't Believe It. And this is basically, though, about a group of people, though, who go out, and kind of, kind of out in the middle of the woods and everything like that. And they end up, a group of these friends, and then they end up kind of seeing like a mob kind of thing happen about like like some, something goes that they they witness that they shouldn't have seen and basically because of that the people that are like the, the bad guys are out there kind of coming after them so it's about a group of these guys that are kind of like goofy kind of weird group of friends that now have to try and survive and kind of figure out what they're going to do to get away from this mob while they're kind of coming after them it's a really crazy movie really fun movie like i said this one here is called sweetie you won't believe it definitely would be one i would recommend you guys check out here the next one here uh this is from turbo by media and this is in a a, a um, german release here it's the st steelbook release here for the film uh, Possess Possessor, which was a great movie. David Cronenberg's son, uh, Brendan Cronenberg, was the director on this movie. This movie, though, is so trippy. It is, it's so incredibly hard to explain. But th these are the kind of movies I really like. I, I really like these weird clinical kind of movies like this. Here's a look, though, inside. And it has in here, though, the um, 4K as well as the, um, the Blu-ray of the film in here. But this is one I would definitely recommend you guys check out if you guys have not seen it. It is such a trippy movie and it's so weird and out there really love this one the last one here to let you guys know that was available this is from mvd this is one here called 23rd century giants the story of ronald and the loaf here and this one has on here though over 50 minutes of bonus material including 25 minutes of extended interviews and deleted scenes the 1981 ralph records songs for uh, swinging Larvard, though, Larvardi, a promo film remastered in HD from original 16 millimeter, millimeter force, uh, source. Um, it has on here a uh, backwards film study on here, 8 millimeter film, as well as uh, music videos on this one here as well. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching, subscribing. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.